So in today's workout, uh, we had a, a pretty nice mix of guys. Um, Eric Bolton joined us, obviously, and then uh, uh, from the NFL standpoint, uh, Victor Cruz, the Giants wide receiver, uh, Danny De Palma, another wide receiver with the Giants, Clint Sintom, uh, Giants linebacker, and uh, Jay Alford, who was with the Giants when they won their first Super Bowl, and is a defensive tackle with us today. Sean, talk to me about what he does and the different workouts that he does and how each workout uh, improves your game specifically to your position. So I think uh, that part of it was, you know, I mean, had me sold on Sean and, and uh, he's just been a great guy. He's a great friend and he's just been very influential in my success. It's my first day with Sean. Uh, just trying to get a little uh, um, info on, on what the uh, Islanders off-season program is all about. And today he uh, is an introductory uh, workout for me and just uh, going through the, some of the workouts with the NFL players today was pretty cool. We start the workouts always off with our dynamic warm-up and then we go into our movement skills and then we finish off with our strength and power and that's a pretty standard day for the Islanders across the course of the whole summer. I train my NFL guys in the exact same capacity. Unlock, set the core here, nice and tight. Go standing military, no legs. And then we'll finish it up with a back and we'll do some more top holds there, okay? My whole goal with Eric today was to explain the overall methodology of what we're doing because it's not just strength and conditioning. It's not just lift weights and ride a bike to get fit. It's a movement-based training program. We want to get you back to being a better athlete, improve his overall movement and agility and speed. Nice, Eric. There you go. He seems to really enjoy the, or like the idea behind it. Um, he seems to understand how it'll help him perform better on the ice. Here's what I want, when you come into camp and you feel light, almost like a boxer. Hockey is all about movement and getting around the ice as fast as you can, as quick as you can, um, and as powerful as you can. And that's what uh, Sean's teaching me. Uh, that's what he teaches all the uh, Islanders players. We initiate the movement with our hip flexor before our hamstring. It puts us in a position to accelerate exactly like that. On the ice, it's the same way. Eric did a great job today of, of jumping right into it, and he's really smart. And he's a veteran guy. He's trained a lot before. Today was good. Um, you know, trying to keep up with some of the NFL players here today. They can fly. So it's, uh, it's good to, to be pushed a little bit like that. And, uh, you know, like I said, today was all about learning, uh, you know, what uh, Sean and the Islanders are all about. You know, he was out here working hard, and we all push each other at the end of the day, no matter, you know, who's in there, no matter what sports you play, we're all pushing each other. And uh, Sean really puts us to work, so he did pretty well. The ultimate goal, whether I'm training Victor Cruz or whether I'm training Eric Bolton, is to move better. And if you change directions better, and if you accelerate better, and if you're more athletic, you play better. You know, that's what it's all about, just uh, sports-specific hockey movements. That's basically what he's trying to hammer home. You know, I think you can see by the, the success of the NFL guys who've trained here in the past, Justin Tuck and Ryan Grant, Victor Cruz, Matthias Kiwanuka, all these guys move pretty darn well. And that's the key to it. Take that, carry that over to our NHL guys. And, and from the so far, what we've seen from guys like Matty Martin and Travis Hamanick and, and Josh Bailey, they look more athletic. They're moving more fluently, and that should help translate to improvement in performance on the ice.